it's a great day here in western New York to take a video. There's the pull-out step. Unfortunately, I can't open the door all the way. Um, I never did put it in, but I do have one of those screen doors and that you put in um, with a center opening. There's my daughter's dirty mare. There's more. Oh, well, she, I think this is her first time ever being in this one. Is it? You've never been in here before? The stalls are huge. Um, step out and shut the slant so we can see how big it is. They're just slam latches. Shut real easily. Look at all the extra room she has. There's room to back a horse or turn a horse around. She's never been on this trailer. Thank you. Latches are easy to use. And there are four saddle racks. Brush box on the door. We added extra hooks because we love reins and bridles and that's just a portable hook rack. To remove the rear, you just pull up and there's one up here. Pull down. You can have eight foot wide opening by folding in the rear tack. And here's a saddle rack that I just took out. The last stall, you lift up on the handle and then slide out this and slide it out and then you just slam it. Easy open stretches. They're spring loaded. Super easy. Um, this manger is big enough to feed in. Or you can put um, water in here to wash it out, which it needs to be washed out. <laughs> there is a drain. So you can clean it. On the ceiling, there are frontwards and backwards vents. The slant gates do lift off, but there's a spring that you have to unattach, and I don't want to do that, so I'm not going to take them off. But they do come off. You just lift them up. The walls have a plastic coating. The floor is all rubber matted. Underneath the floor, it's wood, pressure treated. Um, sorry, it's a mess. <laughs> this is probably the worst problem in the trailer right now. Um, it does need to be uh, cleaned and painted and re-welded. And right there, some dogs did that. Not mine. This is under the mangers from the back of the trailer. And you can fit hay bales in there if you need dry hay storage. Or if you're gonna live in the trailer, you could fit toys and all kinds of goodies back there. There are loading lights and interior lights. And here are the switches, low enough for me to reach, but not dangerous. Little horses can't get snagged on them. Here's a little bit of damage my daughter's gray mare did. Pawing at the trailer. The trail, the tires are muddy. <gasps> They're new. Um, they've not been used at all. I just had them put on. And 
Okay, this is the passenger side of the trailer. And there's an exterior outlet. So if you want to have a kitchen outside under your awning, you can. The trailer is a little dirty, sorry. The floor is just laminate. It's beautiful dark wood, dirty couch. All the windows work really nice. They have easy shades, tons of storage. There's storage above the couch, above the refrigerator and freezer, which is pretty big, both electric and propane. Easy entry into the private goose snack bedroom area. There's storage under the step, electric outlets right next to the sink for your convenience. Double basin sink, which is helpful. Unfortunately, there is no oven, but there is a two burner stove top and a microwave. There's more storage above the sink, drawers and cabinets under the sink, storage above the dinette, and here's the dinette, which is super duper nice to have. There's uh, closet storage behind the dinette and next to the door. There's the bathroom door. Looking through the bathroom door, there's a fan. More storage. There's circuit breakers. Toilet, same flooring. That goes into the horse area and back outside. She kisses, I shower. She tells me I'm sweet, cold in the day. Try to film in the bathroom. There's heat in here that you can turn on or turn off. And the bathroom sink. And there's a medicine cabinet. Lighting. Lighting. Speaker for the bathroom. Um, this is from There's the bathroom, no looking the other like direction. It's the perfect you can see all the storage. There is an AC that you have to be plugged in to an outlet for, and there's a heat strip. But, um, living in North Dakota, you'll need to use the other heater, which is propane. And that heats up really fast, and it just has this type of control. Leave it on, but I can't. Holy cow! I Ice so just came off. Good night. You can see it wailing out. There's the awning. The way dress shines against the moonlight in the stream. I reach out to hold her. One thing. There is a like TV with cable hookup and like a shelf. You but kiss me like I so don't watch television when I'm camping, no so I never like put one in. It's the perfect day to There's a nice stereo system with CD player, sun. speakers inside and out. So much fun when I'm with my baby. Let's go don't follow the trees. Swim with the animals in the sea. So this has speakers um, inside, outside. Or both. You can also set an alarm. Don't die. Oh, nice cupboards for storage. Could be your keys. The light switches. I think I could do this. Um, for outdoor lights, indoor lights, and you can choose which lights come on. Um, I shut some of them off because it's really bright in here. And then these are hand operated lights. Here and under here. I forgot to show you the gooseneck. The gooseneck has um, 
foam mattress fully well I guess it's like four inches less um, there's an outlet up here lots of lighting a speaker for the music uh, there's a light switch up here so when you get into bed you can shut it off from up here there's cabinets up here as well when you're in the goose neck it's nice to have a privacy card in. and the windows open that's an emergency exit window besides it's a domestic fridge and freezer. Pretty big for camping. There's also storage under the couch, I just remembered. Pulling out the couch to sleep is super easy. You just lift up. Lay it down flat. Um, we sleep two people on it at times. This is my favorite side. Very comfy. Plenty of room to sleep. Although there is no slide out, we find it easy to walk through here to get to the gooseneck or from the gooseneck back through to get to the bathroom. The dinette is super easy to um, turn into a bed as well. Let me see if I can do it while I'm videoing. <laughs> Push the leg up. Lift the table up so these little latches, it stays attached. Big enough for one or two. And tall enough for someone who's probably putting away is a cinch. Move the cushions out of the way. The top cushion velcros on. Or into place, I guess you'd say. Lift up the table. Put in those two little metal. And drop the table leg down. Uh, the doors all open and shut easily. Screen door. And man door. And there is a key lock to it. This one actually doesn't have the snaps in it, but I've put snaps along here before and made a canvas or a tarp. And store things like bikes and dog cages, hay. Kind of use it like a garage if you had an ATV, you could store it. <laughs> 